so an unboxing of a different sort. More like an unenveloping, I guess. Um, so several weeks ago, uh, a company contacted me about uh, reviewing their carving tool. So these are the carving tools I normally use. I'm a big fan of Arbor Tech. I've got uh, several of their tools. And then I've got a couple of Galahad basically rotary rasps. And this is the Graph Speed Cutter, which I have not used. So don't know anything about it, but I'm going to compare it to the ones I already use and let you guys kind of be the judge. And it looks like they sent me two. Ha! Ah, look at that. Ah, yes. One is a four and a half, and one is a five. Looks a little bit bigger than me. Anyway, uh, 115 millimeter, 125. So, yeah. One's about a centimeter bigger than the other. So, that makes it a five, and this is a four and a half. So let's see if we can get these little dudes out of the packages. Without cutting myself. <laughs> so these have carbide teeth in three points and then the rest of this is uh, dedicated to anti-kickback which is good. That's a very uh, safe feature. It's much like with the uh, with the Arbortec. It's a, a cutter and then a whole bunch of anti-kickback in the next cutter. And the ends of the teeth are rounded. So that should make it fairly smooth cutting, I would think. But, I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to stick it on a grinder. And I'm going to actually stick the uh, Arbortec on the grinder too and show you a comparison between the two cuts. I don't think anyone else has done that with these yet. Oh, hold on. Well, that one was in there. And this one, too, has a, uh, a slight arc to the teeth and a kickback. I wonder if they're stackable. <laughs> that would make going sideways a lot better. Anyway. So let's, uh, let's put one on the grinder and we'll make our first cut. So I'm just going to use the, uh, well I've got a 5 inch grinder here. So Actually this is more comparable to this in size. This is a 4 inch tool and that's a 4.5. Now let's go with that one and uh, I'm using my variable speed grinder. Those of you unfamiliar with power carving, uh, a variable speed grinder gives you a measure of safety that you will not have with a regular grinder. Yeah, I've got the, I'm just doing some cutting of a different sort and had to have the guard on the other side. There we go. So, these, uh, Bosch Variable Street Grinder is the one I use and it's a really nice piece of equipment. So, fortunately this one's been around long enough that I, <laughs> I can't see the numbers on the dial anymore so i got to kind of guess. So that's low speed. Seems balanced. That's good. Uh, let me resituate the uh, cameras so we can uh, look at the uh, vise down here on the end where I'm going to put blocks of wood of varying hardnesses and try cutting with it. Okay, so here's a little piece of pine. to power it. At low speed.
Okay, so you can see the with grain cut. That's actually very smooth. The cross grain, it's a little squirrely, but still not all that bad. It did cut, and I, I think that would be sandable. Now let's try it at a higher speed. Okay, I got less tear out on the uh, on the cross grain cut. Still a little bit, but definitely sandable now. And that that's uh, that's actually pretty smooth. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. There's still some lines in it, but I mean, literally, I think two passes of sandpaper with 120, and this would be gone. So that's all right. But this is a comparison. So let me unplug this thing and take the graph off and put on the Arbortech. We'll turn the speed back down. Okay, low speed with the Arbortech. On time. Okay, so on low speed, this is a major tear out. But this has a lot bigger teeth, too. So it, eh, it's a little worse than low speed with the graph. Uh, the width grain. You've got more tool marks than you did with either one of the cuts with the graph. Now let's try the high speed. Okay, so now the at high speed, the tear out here is somewhere between the, uh, the two cross crane cuts with the graph. The high speed one, that's, you almost don't have to sand that. That's really smooth. So I would say even smoother than the graph at high speed. So there you go, there's that comparison in a soft wood. Now, let's try with a hardwood. This is walnut that uh, I actually cut on my sawmill. Oh, it's been two or three years ago. <clears throat> the rest of it got used for another project. There we go. And since we've already got the Arbortech on there, we'll start with the Arbortech. All right, give it a shot. Let's Take it back down to low speed. Okay, so tear out on the cross grain is a lot less, and the tear out on the uh, or the lines on the. Uh, with grain are minimal. I mean, a little bit of sanding, so not bad at all. Now, when did I cut myself? That's good. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And Oh, we forgot to do high speed, didn't we? We'll come back to it. All right, so low speed with the graph.
think you can see from there, almost no tear out on the cross grain cuts, and that is as smooth, if not smoother, than uh, than the slow speed cut with the uh, Arbortec. Let's try it at high speed. It's like there's no tear out at all. That's really nice. And that is, you don't even need to sand. So it's definitely cutting better in the uh, hardwood than in the pine. Ah, I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that the uh, Arbor Tech would just smoke this dude, but uh, it's actually <laughs> pretty comparable. And by the way, I do have brand new carbide teeth on this thing. This, this hasn't cut a whole lot with these teeth, so I just replaced them uh, all on four projects ago, maybe. And they're carbide teeth. They don't, like, get dull very easy. All right, high speed with the Arbortech. It's a little bit, on the cross grain cut, it's a little bit rougher than, than the graph was. On the width grain cut, it's dead equal. These are both like smooth as glass. That is interesting. Kind of impressive. Alright. Just out of curiosity, and I'm only doing it on high speed, I got a piece of Osage Orange, which is about the hardest wood I can get a hold of around here. We'll do high speed with the Arbor Tech. those and see what we get. That's, uh, I think that's dead equal on both counts. So, well, there you go. All right. So, there you go. Comparison between the Graph and the Arbor Tech. And quite frankly, that's uh, as far as cutting goes, they were pretty equal. Um, what I will say is that this guy on Amazon is $149 average. Uh, this guy, these guys on Amazon is 20 bucks. So as far as the cost comparison, if you're wanting to get into power carving, uh, my recommendation is pick up one of these until you're sure that you want to commit to this. Now the advantage of this tool over the graph is that the teeth are replaceable. 
These are not replaceable, although they are sharpenable if you can sharpen, uh, if you have a diamond cutter that can sharpen a carbide steel. Um, and these you can also sharpen, but when you wear them out, you can actually take the bolts out and replace them. That's why I've just recently replaced all three of these teeth. So uh, I've used this, I bought this in, I want to say 2004 or five, somewhere in there. So I've had it for a long time. Uh, I also have their, uh, what they call their planer version, which has the teeth on the side. So you're cutting this away instead of this away. This one will cut on its side, but not as great as this one does. But uh, these, that's really, that really impressed me. They're, they, they cut uh, pretty well this way and up on, on Another advantage these has, if you're just cutting boards, say, you know, just need to make a quick cut, like close to a wall or something, uh, this has like a real thin kerf, eighth inch or so, compared to, I don't know, five sixteenths on this. And you're gonna get a greater depth of cut with a four and a half inch or a five inch disc over a four inch. So there is that. But uh, shoot, I'm thinking uh, we're gonna have to do a future project on the channel with these guys and see what we can come up with. Uh, kind of interesting. But it definitely uh, definitely makes makes the cut, so to speak, as far as the uh, the style of, or the, uh, the the texture that it leaves behind. I'm thoroughly impressed, and actually now that I'm looking at these and I moved them around, I can't tell which one's which. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So, nice little quick video for you or a comparison for the Graph Speed Cutter, and I will leave a link. Uh, in the description on the site where you can get these on Amazon. And uh, uh, I don't know, to each their own, but uh, that's pretty impressive for 20 bucks, I gotta tell you. All right, guys, peace out, have a good one. Thanks for watching.